let us continue with our lesson and let's try to check now uh, add a functionality to check whether the password and a confirm password match so if doesn't match then we will we will have to show a user uh, message or something like a dialog box that it doesn't match so instead of going to the server and checking it and returning back the error message uh, it should be better that we confirm and check in our application itself so let's go to the sign up section over here and what we'll do is I'll just copy the else section and uh, just copy and paste it below the else ifs over here. And what we'll do is uh, we'll just check that the confirm password, password and the confirm password matches. So if else if password is not equals to confirm password, C O N confirm password. If it's not equal to then we will go and show a dialog box which is cancelable equals to false and title uh, let's go and create a string resource file and let's add a over here and string of a name and we will say mm, error of a password confirm password error C O N F O R N sorry F I R -E, confirm password uh, error confirm password and uh, that should be of a uh, title mm, it should be T I T L E title and let's have a message over here and we will say that E E A S S uh, sorry P A S S the code password not msc actually password not mec actually password uh, not matched and uh, let me copy the same thing and let's create a new string resource file and instead of title let me give a message over here and i will just say as a nfir confirm password Let's say confirm password. Mm, they say the OS does not MATCH. Confirm password does not match. I think that should be fine. And let's go back to our sign up activity. And for here, we will say as a error of a confirm password title. And here we should replace to error confirm password message and that should be fine so if the password doesn't match then we are going to show the all our dialog over here so let's run the application and let's uh, test it out so i will just go and okay let's just directly run and let's try to test it out so let's wait for the application to launch and uh, let's open our android illuminator and let's try to test it out let us try to fill in the data so i'll say demo 4 and the password is a uh, username uh, email is demo4 at gmail so gmail.com and the password let's say one two three four five six seven eight and on the confirm password let's say one two three four and let's try to sign up and yeah that should work fine and set password not match and the confirm password doesn't match and uh, that's what looks fine and just click on okay and yeah that's working fine and if you try to match it match the password that's one two three four five six seven eight and let's try to sign up and that should if go, let us go back to the PHP my admin and let's see whether we have created the user so yeah so the demo for it's created that means it's working fine so the next step over here would be to on the login login activity what we have to do is uh, if the login is successful then we, we are getting some of the response from the server so if we are if we try to log in over here let's try to log in and uh, we should get a response and whenever we get this response what we have to do is we need to set the access token token id user id name and email for our 
uh, for the reference so we need uh, access token later to in order to add a post update or get all of the tasks like delete the tasks so we need to have access token so for that we need to save this in somewhere in our application so in the next lecture we'll go and see how to save all of this data in our local storage using a shared preference so let's meet up in the next lecture and uh, we'll configure a shared, shared preference to save all of our data so I will see you in the next video. Till then, have a great day.